Hi folks and welcome to the race report with head coach Steve Prom. Dave Winder here in the CFSB Center. We'll bring in Coach Prom in just a moment, but first, just an update on what went on over the weekend for the racers as they set an attendance record here at the CFSB Center of 8,825 fans when Murray State faced St. Mary's in the Bracket Buster Saturday game. ESPN was here, Dick Vitale and Dave O'Brien were calling the game, and the racers uh, led it by 10 at the half, ended up winning it by the score 65 to 51. The racers are 26 and one. It was also senior day here at the arena as Ivan Aska, Dante Poole, and Juwan Long played their last home games. And we'll have more with the seniors a little bit later on, but here is Aska talking immediately after the game. Uh, all the memories and just like, I can't believe this is my last time on this floor playing. So I'm glad I had a dunk. I'm glad I had some rebounds, you know, hustle plays. So I will always remember this moment. Well, in the big weekend, we'll take us into the final week of the regular season as the racers now have finished their home schedule and hit the road for a Thursday game against Tennessee State that's on ESPNU. And then Saturday season finale at Tennessee Tech is on the Racer TV network. So. We're getting towards the end of the regular season here, and we're in the CFSB Center with head coach Steve Prohm the day after what I would call probably the, the greatest day ever in Murray State basketball, or at least it's up there in the top five. Uh, coach, you and I have been just visiting here. Uh, I don't know if you can, you can even put into words kind of what happened at this arena on Saturday. Uh, just a great moment. Uh, so many emotions. Uh, senior day and Dick Vitale and a great non-conference win. and. Uh, just a great showing from our fans. Uh, you just wanted the day to keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty much a perfect day uh, for the racers. So we're going to roll the highlights here, Coach, and, and take a look at this one. This was the first time that a ranked Murray State team had played a ranked opponent. It was the first time the racers had hosted a ranked team since 1971 back in Old Racer Arena. And Coach, you know, the, the atmosphere in this was, was electric, but your team looked really focused when you came out of the gate. Matter of fact, Murray State never trailed in the game. No, they came out, they, they were locked in, and they've, they've been locked in now, you know, after the Tennessee State loss. I think they've, they've been locked in, understanding what it takes to, for us to be successful and continue to try to strive for greatness to, to finish out this season on a, on a great note and, and end the postseason play and make a great run. And uh, we've been great defensively the last couple games and sharing the ball offensively and limiting our turnovers. And, Man, what a fun atmosphere, and, and our guys did a terrific job. I can't say enough about them. Well, Coach, you, you talked about sharing the basketball. The, the racers jumped out 17-9 to nine, about eight minutes into the game here, but you, you look at the assist on almost every basket you're making. There's an assist that goes with it, and the first baskets was Poole, Long, Aska, Cannon, Mushat was in there. Uh, Long scored again, so, you know, at the start of the game, it seemed like everybody was getting a, a touch and getting a good look at the basket. Yeah, you know what, I, <laughs> sometimes you, you never look at a stat sheet when you win. I haven't even seen the stat sheet yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I admit, I haven't looked I, at it that closely I either. Have, <laughs> I admit, I admit it, it was a, such a great atmosphere after the game. I, I haven't seen a stat sheet, and I'm, I'm watching these highlights now. I, I watched a little bit of the ESPN highlights just to hear Vital and what he had to say. But uh -huh. uh, it's it just so many emotions yesterday with senior day and the environment. and It, it was unbelievable for, uh, for Racer Nation. Well, the racers certainly have shown this season with, with and there's Cannon. He missed the free throw, almost got another four-point play. He's already had uh, two of those this year. Uh, but when you take a look at the, the racers have to be accustomed to playing in big time atmosphere games. I mean, it's been that way since uh, the first of the year for sure. That's and even going back to Memphis. I think just since when, when you look at from December 10th at Memphis, we've played in great environments. Yeah. And now that we've played in six consecutive home sellouts, all of our road games since Eastern Illinois in conference play have been sold out or near capacity. So our, that, that's fun. It's fun for our guys, and I think they're thriving off that now. Yeah, I think you're right. So uh, the Racers led at 34-25 at the half, uh, and now we're into the second half. Uh, I was really happy uh, when I met with, the, uh, with Dave O'Brien during your shoot around. He asked me about Juwan Long, and I called him the glue guy. He, he's the glue, and, and you look at what Juwan does. He was guarding Della Dova most of the night and really did a great job on him. Oh, you know, Della Dova, Della Dova is a terrific, terrific player and crafty and makes tough shots, and he's, he makes that team go. And 
Jawan, he just did a terrific job just making it tough on him all night. And we gambled on him a couple times and gave him some easy looks. But, you know, when we came, stayed in front of him, you know, we made it extremely tough on him. And then you can see Isaiah, he got, he got it going in the second half. He certainly did. Uh, Cannon, 9 out of 13, 5 of 8 from 3, uh, 23 points, just a, just a great game. Uh, here was the part where the racers were kind of running away with it. Uh, Brandon got called for uh, chinning up on the rim there a little bit, but it's still the, the momentum was going. And then Cannon, I loved how he ran the baseline and got back around in the corner to hit that shot. Yeah, it's a great throwback, you know, kind of fill behind play. Just it's a good read, um, you know, by Juwan and by Isaiah both. And then you see Isaiah with the floater. Our guards have been great all season, getting into paint and uh, making plays off penetration. Well, there was one more big play here too. This came with about uh, 4.12 to go. Uh, Ed Daniels starts it. Uh, here's Ivan Aska, you know, takes takes it in there. And that, that I thought that pretty much uh, sewed it that, up. That was it, right sewed there. Sewed it up right that, there. That, that was the one that just said, hey man, this one's, uh, this one's over. And then that sealed it right there. I think that put us up 17, mm -hmm. 63, 46. But, you know, Ed Daniel, uh, you know, eight points, eight rebounds, but his floor game defensively, the people don't have any idea how good he was. Man, he was good yesterday. Well, th there were a couple of times where he just walled up, oh. put his hands up, and just stone cold stopped the guy. Yeah, and then deflections and hedging ball screens. He, he was terrific. Well, it was a terrific day for the racers uh, to win it by the score. 65 to 51, Murray State now 26 and one on the season. And now going on the road this week to try to keep that momentum going because the OVC tournament is on the other side of uh, this coming week in Nashville. And the racers, of course, have their eyes on uh, winning that as well. So we're gonna take a break here with head coach Steve Prohm of the Racer Report. When we come back, we're gonna take a look at uh, some of the things that were happening around the game on Saturday next on the Racer Report. Advantage number 17, the area's fastest internet. This is Nicole. She wants to watch her favorite YouTube video. Not so fast, Nicole. Her slow DSL connection means downloading takes forever. Nicole's tired of waiting, so she's switching to New Wave. New Wave has the area's fastest internet, up to 10 times faster than DSL. Now Nicole can surf, download photos, and stream videos faster than ever before, without the wait. Thanks to New Wave. Blazing fast internet. Another New Wave advantage. Call today. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks, we're back here at the CFSB Center where the racers on uh, Saturday night uh, finished up the home portion of the regular season against St. Mary's with a big victory. And head coach Steve Prom joins us here now. And uh, coach, when you talk about uh, being on a national TV audience, I'm pretty sure the racers game was, somebody told me it was the only 6 p.m. Eastern time tip in the nation. So it, when, when the Murray State game came on Saturday night on the mothership, I call it, uh, it was the only game on on the network. There were some other games that started at 7 and 7.30, but uh, my goodness, that just to be on that and then to have Dick Vitale and Dave O'Brien here, it was a big day. It was a huge day and it was great. And I can't say enough. I got on ESPN radio late last mm -hmm. night and, uh, and then Fox Sports Radio. And, yep. and I told the people from ESPN radio before I got off the air, uh, just thanks. And I want to make sure I, I told them that over and over. And, just how much we appreciated that, you know, from a university, from a community, and from our basketball program, to send Vital down here, to send Dick Vital down here, and then to him come down here and be so genuine about it, mm -hmm. and, and appreciate it, and uh, and just be so into it, you know, and just sell out so much to being here, and just loving the moment, and enjoying Racer Nation, enjoying Murray State basketball. I think he had an unbelievable time, and I think our fans, 
and our basketball team showed him a great day. Yeah, I th and that was not lost on anybody with the ESPN crew, uh, from the cameraman out to the director in the truck. Everybody was really impressed with, with Murray State. Uh, wh what did you think when, at, before the game, Dave O'Brien and Dick Vitale came over to talk to you on the bench? They said, is Steve here? And I'm like, yeah, he's sitting right over there. So then they came over to talk to you. Well, it's funny you sit in, and this is just from a personal standpoint, you know, uh, and, and they showed on ESPN that picture, you know, yeah. I gave you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, 20 years ago, I'm in at Oglethorpe University, and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm loving Vital, and, you know, he's the biggest thing in college basketball, and he doesn't know in the who the world I am. <laughs> and now he's calling me by my first name, like Steve, like, you know, and, and you're sitting there, and it's the biggest thing in the world. You know, it's, it's yeah. like, man, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, you know, we've used the word surreal so many times this year. So it was great just to be able to sit down there and, and talk basketball with him mm -hmm. and uh, talk about our program and, and, and share our passion for the game of basketball and and talk to Dave O'Brien and, and visit with him and talk about our players and talk about this school and this community. Well another big winner on Saturday was the Murray State students uh, many who camped out overnight uh, to be the first ones to get in the building they got a chance to meet Dick before he even came in the building he went right out to him in Gate C and said hello to all the students that were out there and it was just a great great day uh, for the racers on Bracket Buster Saturday uh, to have Dick Vitale and ESPN in the house. We're going to take another break here with head coach Steve Prom on the Racer Report. When we come back, we're going to go back in time to the big win when the racers clinched outright the OVC title Wednesday night at SEMO. There's a new unstoppable force in the universe of internet speed. Introducing Warp Wave, the next generation of high-speed internet brought to you by the masters of internet service. New wave communications with speeds up to 50 megs. Warp Wave takes you faster than you've ever thought possible. Be the most feared online gamer in the galaxy. Stream video with no deep space delay. Download at speeds light years ahead of the competition. Call today and surf at warp speed with the fastest internet, period. Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks and welcome back to the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm, Dave Winder here at the CFSB Center and we're going to go back to Wednesday night real quick and take a look at the Racers game on the road at Southeast Missouri State Coach. This was the night where the Racers uh, won the OVC title outright for the third year in a row and you talk about an atmosphere, Wednesday night at SEMO was their first sellout since 2000 when the Racers were also involved in it uh, but it was an electric atmosphere there and the Racers performed very well. Uh, pretty much from start to finish and got the win there. Yeah, I thought we were really focused. I walked out of shoot around and uh, it makes you feel good as, as the head coach. When you walk out of shoot around, you go back to your hotel your hotel room and you say, we're really locked in. You know, I felt really good watching our guys in shoot around. I said, we're going to, I feel really good about going in there and winning that game that night. And uh, we were totally locked in on the defensive end. Uh, we struggled offensively the first couple of minutes. We had to get adjusted to how they were playing us. And once we got adjusted offensively, mm -hmm. we were able to score 75 points the last 35 minutes of the game. Uh, but the defensive end is where we won the game. We held them to 22 points the first half. That's right. It was 32-22 uh, uh, at halftime, and uh, it was 5-5 five to five, almost six minutes into the game. So both teams were having a, a trouble scoring there early. Uh, but then in the second half, Coach, uh, the lead got up to 13 with about 11 minutes to go. Uh, Southeast, uh, they did make a run there and cut it to five with 6.42 to go. I think there was three straight turnovers, but your team regrouped uh, in, in a great fashion to close this one out and, and to win at 75-66. Yeah, we went through a stretch right there. We got a little frustrated. We got frustrated with the officiating a little bit. We got, we got hurried up a little bit, and then uh, Dante went through a stretch. I think he got the technical. He turned it over once or twice, and we just need to settle down. And then once we settled back down, scored off our defense, we made a couple big plays, and 
we got it back up to double digits and we were able to finish the game out. Well, it was great to see Dante Poole uh, have the game he had. He had been in a little bit of a shooting slump, but he went seven for 13, four for six, seven of nine from the line and 25 points. So it was great to see Dante lead the racers on Wednesday night. We're going to take another break here with head coach Steve Prohm. When we come back, we're going to talk about the seniors who played their last game and they've won 99 games in their career. It's an amazing stat that we'll tell you about next on the Racer Report. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. There's a new, unstoppable force in the universe of internet speed. Introducing Warp Wave, the next generation of high-speed internet, brought to you by the masters of internet service. New wave communications with speeds up to 50 megs. Warp Wave takes you faster than you've ever thought possible. Be the most feared online gamer in the galaxy. Stream video with no deep space delay. Download at speeds light years ahead of the competition. Call today and surf at warp speed with the fastest internet, period. Racer fans, don't forget to check out the homepage of the Murray State Racers. That's GoRacers.com. If you want to know about Murray State basketball or any of the other sports at Murray State, GoRacers.com is the place to be. Make it your homepage today. We're here with head coach Steve Prohm on the Racer Report. It was senior night Saturday as Ivan Aska, Juwan Long, Dante Poole, also manager Brandon Wiesman had their last home game Saturday. Uh, emotional time before the game, but that part after the game, coach, that was amazing. Yeah, you know, as a coach, <laughs> I was so, <laughs> I was praying as many times as I could. I just wanted to win the game so bad. Uh, you know, it had so many implications, but just so we could give them one more moment, you know, to call them back out. And cut to, down the nets. <laughs> to be able to cut down the nets, to, to celebrate the, you know, 23rd Ohio Valley Conference Championship, a third consecutive championship. Um, 99 just, wins you know, for to this celebrate. Class. You know, for them to tie the all-time win record here on Senior Day, uh, and to call them out one more time, because sometimes you know the Senior Day is so rushed a little bit beforehand. And it was because it was a TV game. You know, because TV and games you're doing everything yeah. so fast. So I wanted to call them out one more time, and I wanted the parents to be a little bit more involved. And we had the video tribute, thanks to Jacob. Great you job, know, you're and, right. Uh, Coach Kane, they did a tremendous job with that. I thought that was terrific, and uh, it was, that was high level. Yeah, it, it certainly was. And, uh, you know, uh, the one thing you said, though, uh, you told the fans, it's been great, but we've got a lot more basketball to play. Yeah, and they were excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. we do. we got one more week of the regular season. We want to continue to play well. Uh, we've got the OVC tournament in Nashville. And then, uh, without question, uh, we'll just take it know, as, as it comes after we, that. Uh, Regardless of what happens down there, we're an NCAA tournament team. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. Uh, the racers are just playing some great basketball. And uh, we, I want you to stay tuned. We're going to take one more break here. We're going to wrap it up with Coach. But at the end of the show, uh, you're going to see some of the video that we talked about that, that Jacob Young made, plus some comments from the seniors. And, of course, the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. We'll do that next on the Race Report with Steve Prom. Advantage number 17, the area's fastest internet. This is Nicole. She wants to watch her favorite YouTube video. 
Not so fast, Nicole. Her slow DSL connection means downloading takes forever. Nicole's tired of waiting, so she's switching to New Wave. New Wave has the area's fastest internet, up to 10 times faster than DSL. Now Nicole can surf, download photos, and stream videos faster than ever before, without the wait. Thanks to New Wave. Blazing fast internet. Another New Wave advantage. Call today. For more than 30 years, the NCAA Division I Football Championship Subdivision has helped athletes achieve their dreams. The dream of playing football and hearing the home crowd cheer time after time. The dream of competing for a national championship. The dream of an excellent education. The dream of becoming a leader. And the dream of playing the right way with sportsmanship. NCAA Division I Football. It's not a dream. Come see for yourself. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. All right, we're back here on the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm to wrap things up this week as the racers go on the road to play Tennessee State Thursday. It's on ESPNU. And then Saturday at Tennessee Tech, the regular season finale, that'll be on Racer TV. And, uh, Coach, you know, right now uh, you come off of a, a big emotional game Saturday, and we've, we've gone over all the reasons why it was emotional. Uh, so now the, you know, we're taping on, on Sunday. Uh, the, the team has Sunday off. You get back to work Monday. And uh, one thing I know about this team is they'll come to practice on Monday, and they'll be locked in and ready to tackle the next challenge. Yeah, the best thing about this is uh, was it being so, it, it was an emotional day. It was, and it, and it should be, mm -hmm. uh, because of what the seniors have meant to this program and because of how uh, an amazing season this has been. Uh, but it's good to get away from it today uh, for these guys. Uh, we'll have a light practice tomorrow, and then we'll get after it for Tennessee State Tuesday and Wednesday, and we'll go down there and uh, be ready to play on Thursday. Okay, we'll look forward to it. We appreciate all the Racer fans. Uh, for being here and there were many that couldn't get in the building that were watching at home and we appreciate each and every one of you. We uh, certainly love the Racer Nation. So Yeah, thanks so much. I'm unbelievable. Thank you so much for uh, a great, great day yesterday. All right, Coach. We'll see you this week. Thank you. Okay, Head Coach Steve Prohm. We'll see you next time on the Racer Report. And I was to leave you today some of the sights and sounds of a big day for the Racers, including the voice of the Racers, Neil Bradley. I want to take one more time uh, to recognize the seniors. With this win today, they have become the winningest class in the history of Murray State University. And along the way, they've taken this team to the highest ranking, the longest winning streak and three consecutive Wild Valley Conference championships. We got a lot more basketball still to play. We got one last game for the seniors. We got a senior tribute we wanted to play. Coach Kane and Coach Jacob, our film guy, did a great job. We wanted to play this tribute to these seniors so their parents and their families can see that. See this.
Uh, well, it meant a lot to me to go out the way we did, uh, you know, uh, sell out crowd, uh, you know, to win against a ranked team um, in front of Dickie V on ESPN. It can't get no better than that. You know, this is what you dream for, these kind of games, uh, going against the ranked opponent, uh, this kind of atmosphere, ESPN, Dick Vitale. Uh, it was a great, a great feeling, uh, and I wouldn't want to go out any other way. felt good just to show the nation that we you know we could compete. And um, I will always remember this moment. Just remember when I first stepped on here when I was a freshman, and now that I'm a senior. So it felt very good. Wilson leaves it for Jackson. He's open from three, and he hit it. And the Racers, known for their three-point shooting, four bombs tonight, and the freshman Zay Jackson. Jackson drives in, finds Poole for three in the corner, and it's good! Poole is on fire! He has 11, 25-18 Racers. Hannah deep on the wing, shoots the three, he hit it, and he's fouled by Jones. That's Jones' third personal foul. Hannah to the line for a chance at a four-point play.